One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, here at the RV and Specialty Auction. Motorcycles way up there, all kinds of RVs. He's getting his Viper, wrecked Viper. I looked at all these, and I'm just walking back down this aisle. God, that's nice. 08 with 42, 09 with 46. I don't know why that gray makes it so much nicer. But look at the double pop out. Wow. And it's about 29, it says. Maybe 26 to 29 feet. Oh man, this is nice. This is what my dad needs to go on a vacation in. Look at that aluminum looking stove and everything. Wow. I'm gonna sit down here and show you how far across. I mean, just wow. You could live in this. It's just nice as it gets. You should start right up, huh? Yeah. I love these V10 in this type of a rig. You probably sleep two out here, three, four, whatever. Whoa! Doesn't look like a leak. But holy smokes. That was one big boy laying there. Holy hell. I don't know why I'm even looking. It's way too new for my liking. My dad needs to be on this. Man, this is sweet, especially, especially in the darker color like that. A darker color, a Melbourne, Jayco Melbourne. A little bit of a scuff there. Triple slide. That's pretty sweet. Definitely needs new mattress. The front drivers are nice. This side has good rubber. The other side was kind of in need. In need. Okay. I looked at a lot of these in the other video. There'll be a link down below. And at the end of this one, to where you can see them other videos, 4935, the Springdale by Keystone. Yes, we looked at this. And this was a nice rig. This is a very, very important one for me not to miss tomorrow. 4935. I'm gonna climb up on the roof. Breeder's out in the truck, guarding the computer and the phone. Oh, I'm not gonna climb up on the roof. I ain't gonna climb up on the roof. Jeez, look at that awning though. That's a good telltale sign. It has been covered. Because the awning is usually wrought out in 15, 16 years. I like that one, 49.35. Top notch. The Salem is a 07. It's a bit new. It's top notch, all right. Two top notch for this channel. I want to look at this Challenger. I don't think I did last time. And there's a whole nother row of stuff that we'll be looking at. This is nice. Look at that. I know I'm saying that in all of them, but they're all pretty nice. Live well, love much, laugh often. Screw always. Yep, yep, yep. Good saying, good saying. This is a nice, nice machine. Separate bedroom? Looks like it. Wow. It's like a little entertainment nook. With a bunk. Oh. And a missing skylight. Can you believe that they wouldn't plug that up or pop a $40 skylight. Wow. On either one of them? All three of them are missing? Yes. Okay. Well, ooh. Womp womp. Oh, well. Can't really put much blame on the RV with all the roof pieces missing. I like this one. It's newer. There we go. And with it being newer, always test these things before you get up on them. Even when you test them, don't trust them. Oh God, that's winky wonky. Okay, I like that though. That would be one hell of a, a machine to pull with it being so much bigger 
Is it double slide or triple? Triple. Oh, there's a Thunderbird. Triple slide. Triple slide! I like it. The Challenger by Keystone. It's like an 06 though. 05, 49, 31. Okay. 30,000 on an 06. Now this is more up the alley. Another one. Single slide. At least. Double slide. Double slide. Wow, I think I like the layout. I'm pretty easy to please. Kinda. I like the layout. Wow! You like fall down into this thing? Well, don't fall. Spot the ram. Spot the ram travel. Why we got that in a Ford? <coughs> you gotta pay attention to these things. Wow. I have no clue how to turn that off. I'll just leave the keys for the next person. God, this is nice. Oh, with its private bathroom and bedroom. Oh, wow, double entry. That's sweet. Yeah, I don't get in the new rigs as much. Ooh, this slides out farther. Another foot, foot and a half. Give you the walkway. I like his windows in here too, and this will slide out. God, with both slides all the way slid out. This is a nice rig. I'm gonna get the number, although I'm not going to be able to bid on it. This is a nice rig. And it's all in one unit. Park cable, city water. Okay, but what about, there we go, bone end generator. I like you. I like you a lot. 06 with 30,000. 49.30. I'm going to look at this. No carpet. Oh, toy hauler. Yeah. You know, this is pretty cheap though. It's always just too small to haul a car though. You know, just not what this guy would be looking for. Oh, this is a nice little unit. Dirty. Been out in the desert a lot or something. It's clean, but dirty if that makes any sense. I try not to look at those simply because it'll mess up my... See, that's pretty neat. But this, 06 I might have looked in this thing. If I did, you're going to have to bear with me. The other video is... Oh, no, I didn't. That's a big super slide. Super slide! I like this. Double super slide. Wow, a regular toilet bed. You don't see that very often. Must just be on the newer one. I like. No leakage. And double slides. Flat tire. Kind of common on these. Maybe re maybe fees do. Nothing has slid out. I think it's 49.27. I'll be on. Now this is a year newer. Well, it was locked. That's right. Now I know where I am. 49.27. Let's look at the Challenger by Keystone. My thinking is the bigger ones with slides are going to go for the most. And it really doesn't do what I need anyways. This is as new as my main one or newer. <laughs> no way to say it and not be funny, but the rear entry really throws me off there. Pretty nice. Look at that. Okay. We're done with this row. Okay, I'm back in the bedroom of another one. 
This is nice. Ooh, flat screen, a little smacked around. Now this is a, ooh, it does have a slide out. Wow. I was thinking this is early 90s. Could be late 90s. You can see from the outside, it's not that new looking. It's a Fleetwood Bounder and it's a long one. No jokes, no jokes. Now lots of commercial trucks at this auction too. My buddy wants a, I'm gonna look at that. My buddy wants a dump truck and they just, you know, honestly, they had all kinds of dump trucks until he wanted a dump truck. And now, they don't seem to have no dump trucks. This is cool. Okay, those are not marked down. Ooh, the Thunderbird. I'm gonna do a review just on it and throw it on hipster cars. Something to that effect. That Airstream Land Yacht. Warrior. Are these all not going through? I know those are Eagle, Jayco. This stuff ain't going through, man. Ooh, wow. What the hell is that? Oh, that's one of them small ProMaster Rams. Look at that. It's a, looks like a, um, a people mover more than anything else. Should be locked up. No. Look at this, baby. Wow. This is, wow. This is brand new. What year is it? 2015 with 15,000 miles. Let me get pictures. Well, I just showed you that little bad boy. You know, I just did a review of this and threw it on my Hipster Cars channel. Nice Thunderbird. I'm not even going to show you. You're going to have to look on that channel, Hipster Cars, on YouTube. Now, Pack Car has a lane here, basically. It's a nice truck to add a dump or something to. Extended wheelbase dually. You have 5,500. Is that what the... I can't read it. There's too much sweat in my eyes. 13 with only 444. Look at all these. 2013 with 375. 2012. All Kenworth and Peterbilt repos, 13 with 528, a 2012 with 439, a 2013 with 335, a 2013 with 475, a 2012 with 510. How much do they want to sell these? Who knows? Who knows? How do these look inside? Wow. They sure have changed them over the years. Oh my. That's nice. 510. We got keys. Man, whoa, nice air ride seat. Check engine light. Wow. They're different than they used to be. It used to be there's a big old knob behind them. <laughs> wow, there's all kinds of stuff kicking in on this bad boy. This thing's like new. I bet you it's got books. Nope. Look at that though. There's your books. Pretty nice. So all kinds of brand new Peterbilt and Kenworth Trucks. Ah. Certified Plain Idol. Yes, sir. -y. Okay, so that's trucks. I don't know if I'm going to throw that in. I'm not looking for them. So, I don't know how I'll throw that in. Anything. Look at that. 07 with 232 International. Like the upgraded DT 466, probably, or something. I don't know. That stuff, I believe, all went through. Some of them boats may be going through. They're still staging for tomorrow. Really shouldn't be at this time. What I want's really over there, so it may just be a... I'm going to take a picture this way. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's probably going to be on Hipster Car. Subscribe here and subscribe on Cereal Marshmallow. Okay, this is exactly what I was talking about. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. This is exactly the thing that 
one owner car guy is not going to look at because my turnover is too slow. And yeah, I forgot to push a button. My turnover is too slow to do something new like this. Look at the space in between there. But wow, look at that. Leathered out. This is as nice as it gets. My brother-in-law bought a diesel one of these brand new. $336,000 or something. Drove it to Montana once. Amazing what people spend on these. This is like new. 25,000 miles. It's got to be a diesel, huh? I don't know. Yeah, it's Freightliner. Dead battery. Okay. But that's what I'm saying. I usually don't look at this kind of stuff. But some of my subscribers might want to see it. So I'm trying to open up to different stuff. Make sure to subscribe. Like. Comment. That's nice. It's just too big and new for me. How many miles? I didn't even go through. Yeah, it is. 101. That's a bit for one of them, actually. Winnebago Vectra Evolution Chassis. Let's look. We'll do back to back here. Back to back. Newish crap. Yeah, man. Look at this. Nice as it. Wow. Little curves and stuff like that on the carpet really give it a classy look too. Wow. There's just wow. Walk through bathroom. I like this. I can live in this. Hell yeah. Whenever you wanna be where you are, you just move. That's it. Look at their control panel. It's where you can park the Death Star. Oh, it's hot in there. Nice out here. Okay, that StarCraft pop-up is interesting. That's probably where they'll have free pizza tomorrow. If you work it out just right, you can go to the other one, bid, then come here and get the free pizza. What is this? Some kind of a pump truck? 4829. Baker's Petrolite. Well, it's probably for hauling fuel then, huh? What is this though? Put that big winch on it. I knew it was an older, oh, older Kindler. This one is most likely ran off the road. 09, not yet. Nebraska, a portion. Okay. I can't get away from this too much. Look at these bucket trucks. That's nice. Especially with that bed and the stabilizers. That's a crane. The other one's a bucket, but that's a crane. Ah! Not that kind. <laughs> yeah, cornball. Sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not going to tell you I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. 2,000. 24,000. As long as this ain't a diesel. That's about my ear. Electric stair. No slide. No slide is good. Tub. Clean looking. No slide is good. Why would I say that? Of course the slide is good. But no slide on an older model like this. Cold AC and everything means cheap. A lot cheaper than something with a slide. And so that puts me in a newer model of one of these. Somebody's gonna slip on that and fall. I like seeing the electric stuff work. Ah, 99 Damon Bay. It says 2000 on the front. There's no plates on this truck. Well, RV. My eyes are just messed up, man. I need to get to the gym. I haven't been. Hold on. 21 6. Wow, they just did this. It's a 
nice rig. 4963, it's gonna go for a lot more than I wanna pay. An 01 with 23. This thing is clean up. I've been telling my dad he needs one of these. He needs. Oh my, that thing just took off. Slide, super slide. Oh, nice newer up here. Nice newer down here. Oops. Somebody took the keys with them too. This is nice. Any RVs you need, I will get you what you want. I'll get you what you want. Look at this thing. I just want to look because it's a 550. 08 with 9,000 miles. This has to be a party bus, huh? Looks like a little bolt. Oh, wow. The way this says it's an aluminum chassis is almost, wow. It looks like an Airstream or something. That's cool. And then, this is like brand new. It honestly smells new. Nine thousand miles. Mm. Ah. Wow. All the paperwork. Look at that package. No, that's what she said. I like that design on the wall. Pretty classy. I'll tell you that rounded side gives you a lot of extra stuff. And I think there's a slide or two on this. I'll oh, know in a second. That is nice. Take your time. This uh, is totally overheated. I've got three or four more to preview. I think that's one of my main ones. An O1 with 30. I'm not looking to buy one of these. Wow. It's nice. This is exactly what my mom and dad could go up the coast in. Now, how about this? Does that whole back end slide on that trailer? Or it's just got a drop dovetail ramp type thing? I think that's what it is. No. I don't know. Oh, yeah. The whole thing does pop down. It's a chunk. That's cool with a winch. I don't know how long it is. That's a nice winch. Load trail. Huh. Nice trailer. Some more bucket ladder trucks. Okay, this should be the last of them right up over in this chunk. And then I can get back to the car and get over to the cars and do a car review. That Mountaineer might be on my list. There's a Cobra on my list that I can't seem to find. O1. All three of these are very possible units. That one mostly. You can see when I see the old stuff. That Lindy's pretty rough. It's gonna go pretty cheap though. This is like nice. And I say this based on. have an electrical thing going on based on other ones that have been at these auctions that are just shall we say not nice green okay this is the one I want to see let's get the number new awning it looks like 4957 Nice newish rubber. Sure is. Please don't be smelly or nothing. It's nice. It's warm in here. And it looks like that's going to be busted. I like the breakfast nook.
doesn't look to be leaking anywhere. One of the main things. All people are peeling. It doesn't seem to be leaking. I wrote a letter. Huh, you're gonna get back in school. You go, boy. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off a second. That's a 2015. I ain't even gonna look inside. That sure is nice. Okay, here we go. I like this here. Whatever this is. I don't know what it is. Sierra by Cobra. This is the one. It's the Cobra. Ah, cool. Cobra. Not really. <laughs> what a dork, huh? I have people like call up and I'll talk to or talk to them online. They're like, dude, you cracked me up, you know? And I have people say, you're such a f <laughs> idiot. Ah, I don't care. I don't care what you think I am. I'm having fun. I don't think this has a um, generator. Generator. Can you? Oh, wait, no, that was operated. 034956. Ooh, what a slide. So you get this new, and you get this slide, it's a lot more money. Now, the bumper pool is so much cooler. Now, and that's, in, oh, wow, two entrances. Um, that's one thing that's kind of. It's nice you can shut this off. It's also nice to have the ones where this is shut off from the crapper. They got the slide out, out, out. I like this. It's nice. Okay. No weird smells. Everything looks good. Let's see when this was registered last. This one, I mean. Wow, May 2016. Might as well. Wow, that's the tightest one I've seen yet. I like it. I might have had aluminum added. So now, you know I'm done. This should be the last thing here. Okay, I'm gonna let this take a rest. Went on to carguide.com. Check out my website. Subscribe here on YouTube. You might see more added. You might not. It's just crazy. One on a car guy. One on a car guy.com. Big old semi trailers. I don't know if I'll clip this in with this stuff, that stuff, or what stuff. But all this cool stuff goes through. All these are waiting to be checked in. I think I have a Smith Red Bull truck over there. This stuff's not going through. And I don't think that stuff's going through. Nope. But just so much more out here that I'm not even going to look at. Yeah. Big ladder, crane trucks. It's amazing. And this is one of the more specialty related auctions. I got videos uploading in the truck. Here goes the Viper, man. Excuse me? Oh, gotcha. You go that way. What does it end up going for? I seen it, but I didn't see it go through. It did. We bought it online. Oh, you bought it online? 20 grand. What year is it? It ain't got many miles on it from what I've seen. 40? Yeah. That ain't bad. That's pretty nice. You do body work or what? Yeah. Oh, cool. Can't beat that. But it's got more damage than it showed on the pictures. Where'd you come from to get it? Colorado. Colorado. That's a good ways. 750 miles. If you ever see anything down here at the auction that you want, look up oneownercarguy.com. And that's me, and I'd be glad to preview and, I don't know, give me a $100, $200 buy fee or something, and I'll come down here, because I come to look from San Diego. I'm from Montana, so I go down to San Diego, and I do all these auctions for three weeks, and then I go back. Uh -huh. So if you ever need me to look at something, it'd be so easy to 
check it out for you. They don't do well at everything. One, what is it? One owner. One owner. Carguy.com. Car What's and your name? Nathan. Nathan. And use the numeral. If you use the one, it'll go. If you spell it out O and E, it'll go to my Montana lot, and you'll see a lot of muscle cars. And if you use the numeral one, it'll show all my. Yeah, I do a lot of Trans Ams and stuff. I already have a Viper before. He has a Viper. Oh, really? Yeah. But I'm, <clears throat> I'm looking for, like to get a wrecked Hellcat. Challenge for a Hellcat. Riverside Auction is usually really good on getting that newer stuff, even if it's wrecked. Something like that. I just seen a non-wrecked Hellcat go through this one, right over yeah. there at their regular auction. We saw yeah. it sitting out there. It's a nice little car. Yeah. And they couldn't get a bid on it. Couldn't. No, and they were they're asking what they are, what they list for online. They're basically asking what you can order one from the dealers. That's, they wanted sixty. They wanted sixty. They wanted sixty. They were trying to get to sixty. I love the way they bid, and they're like, they just won't take. I wish I had one. I give it to you. That's my website. You'll find me on there and okay. stuff. Well, Have fun. He's Eric's Auto Brokers. Eric's Auto Brokers, and what part of Colorado? Grand, oh, Cedar Edge. Is that around Denver? No, no, we're three, no. Oh, two fifty west of Denver. We're on the other side of the mountain. Oh, you're towards uh, Utah. Well, cool. Have fun. Thank you. We'll see you. Nice meeting you. There it goes. 20 grand. He is a body guy. And he'll fix that up. Okay, I'm done. That's all the stuff you're going to see in this here video. The Viper Man. Look at this. Oh, wow. How can you ever be done when there's a last year Super Duty Power Stroke with 167 that's going through? Look at that seat. Wow. I glowed him. Let's glow him again, guys. Pretty nice. Picture. I wish I could find one in just a cabin chassis. Okay, I gotta get to the other lot. They used to close at five. A 2281. I ain't going for The other lot used to be open till five. Now it's still dark, supposedly, so we'll see. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you in a while. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. There'll be links at the end of this one to go see the car videos. We'll talk to you.